Hello, my name is Jeannie Cavalier, and welcome to Meditation One with the Liberated Healer. This is a program that's going to teach you how to heal yourself and also others, and it will spill out to the world around you. But we have to start with ourselves. It's the only thing that we can control 24-7. It will make for everything better in your life. Once I found these techniques and started putting them together in a, a way that best served me, everything changed for me. And it's why I moved away from becoming a healer, just working on people and doing the work for them to building this company, to teach people their birthright, to have these tools on how to move the energy so they can get to a life that they most prefer living. And I am so just excited about these opportunities. And when you fully embrace these tools, everything actually will change. And there will be bumpy roads because there are growth periods as you're shedding old habits or thought patterns, but they become smaller and shorter and easier as time goes on. So just continue on the journey and the, this is the foundation for everything moving forward. So at times it might seem a little bit slow, a little bit, oh, wow, this seems so easy. There is a purpose for everything that we are teaching you right now. This is the foundational work. You will do these automatically every day as soon as you wake up at, at a certain point. So you will continue to be grounded in your body in present time, connected and working the system to help flush out negative thoughts, emotions, or things being thrown on you, judgments or criticisms, fears, and being able to call in the brighter, happier energy of joy and happiness and love and acceptance. And that will spill out to every single person around you. I use these techniques to heal my suicidal ideation. And I had it for my whole life practically. And when it finally clicked into place that I loved myself too much to harm myself, that my soul, my spirit was intended to be here, that I had a purpose to be here, that I was going to become in service to humanity. I am a mental health advocate and I am on a journey to continue to do as much work as possible. So I I'm excited for your meditation one. Just so you know, we're going to be building other programs. The next stage would be meditation two, which will be a lot more exciting. S super advanced techniques will be coming into play. Things that you've never heard of on the internet really described in this way. There's a unique way that we've just, we've found that really helps the body stay connected in present time. So please enjoy it. And then try healing one which is where you will get healing guides and let me will teach you how to build that bridge to your healing guides, how to hear them, how to communicate with them. And then healing too is even much more techniques about where you can start doing readings on other people, healings on other people. It's just a wealth of information and knowledge that is, again, your birthright that has been kind of programmed out of us. When, you know, if you go back and you look at the Indians, their very first Number one priority was spirituality and their connection to the earth and all living things around them. And it was us too. And slowly we've been programmed away with the power of money over us, which I'm not saying being abundant isn't good. You know, spirit wants you to have everything that you want to have, but it's the relationship of that having power over you. Removing this power over you will help to reduce the fear in your body because you can't be worrying constantly about this thing that has power over you and live a fulfilled life. And um, many people are lonely and many people feel disconnected. And if you do this for yourself, but you might even be doing this for someone else who is also suffering, someone you love and you want to understand how can you help them? You can help them by working on this by yourself first and then sharing it with them. So it grows and grows and grows. So welcome to Meditation One. Please reach out to me at gina at the liberatedhealer.com if you have any questions 
or go onto our website and there's all kinds of content on there, as well as you can pre-order our book, Surviving Suicidal Ideation, that I co-authored with Dr. Amelia Kelly and being published through the Swedenborg Foundation coming out June 26. I also illustrated 30 images in there that also have healing properties in them. And I'm working on book two. So there's a lot going on. We're raising funds for an app that is going to help many people. We're starting a nonprofit, Suicidal Ideation Anonymous, and also doing a documentary about the subject matter and where the healthiest places in the world are to live that have the least amount of suicides listed. So, you know, we're bringing levity to the dark parts that we need to look at and surrounding it with love. And that's what we have to do. We have to start somewhere for our tribe and our community. Thank you for being here. And I hope you enjoy your class.